Fried lobsters, I can't wait, it's gonna be so good. Oh my gosh.
good morning everyone it's time check right now right now it's 9 21 in the morning we are getting ready to go to our first agenda for today agenda for today is to just go wine tasting we have a couple of uh, places that we're gonna go to today then after that we are just gonna go head out to dinner I just also wanted to put a disclaimer about this place because I know it is beautiful. I know I'm showing you guys the beautiful place and it is beautiful. Don't get us wrong. It's really beautiful over here. But there's some minor things here that we are just overlooking. For example, there are like a couple of things that are broken. The stairs to go up to the um, extra bedroom or extra bed upstairs is not really safe. That's the main thing. I couldn't even go up there because the stairs a little flimsy. Then the major thing that happened last night was um, there were other guests that were being very loud and they were just like partying. I'm not sure if they were in their bachelorette party, but they were being very loud. So Jason and I, we tried to go to bed at 11 o'clock and they were still partying there which is fine you know we don't really mind but comes 12 o'clock comes one o'clock then it just seems like this people were just not going to stop partying and the thing that why we chose this hotel is because this hotel was advertised as a place to relax for tranquility and that's the kind of stuff that jason and i love and that's the fact that there are people partying at the pool till past 11 30 p.m and no one's telling them anything that just like really annoyed us because it just kind of showed us that there's no security walking around or regulating the people here so they apologized to us and you know they really took care of the situation right away we have the first course of the tasting menu uh, the six fresh oysters on the plate we actually have uh, six different types uh, starting from the sandwich one we offer the luxia pionero petiso uh, this three would be from the region of San Quintin and then called the pai pai chingon and pumiai from the region of Guerrero Negro uh, the main difference between all of them would be the flavor usually the smaller oysters tend to be more salty and more flavorful mm -hmm. and the bigger ones are maybe less but also more creamy uh, Today is a little flower called Borraca this, this one is edible, organic and doesn't change the flavor And lots of all in the center we offer mignonettes These being sauces, based on vinegar uh, which are flavored to the uh, oyster uh, The first one, the orange one over here is a little bit spicy We have habanero and apple vinegar The brighter green over here would be the most mental lemon We have some citrix with rice vinegar And the last one is very fresh We have some cucumber with also rice vinegar so, Thank you. A butter clam ceviche. To the butter clam, we add some tomato, cucumber, and green tomato, as well as dots of our hummus. And a little oil is made for arugula. As decoration, we add some uh, green tomato laminated. Aguachile, 
actually. The Gouda clam is uh, blanched and laminated uh, with some coriander seeds on top. On the center we have fresh cucumber and a roasted garlic alioli. Uh, finally, the base of the guachile is made from some smoked tortilla peppers and onions. And to finish it off, we add little dots of our red chili oil. Uh, we also add a little bit of olive oil to calm down the spiciness. And the recommendation is to mix everything up a little bit uh, before eating. I'll take this gabalone is cooked, uh, so the texture is softer and, and it's not too chewy. And of course, it also picks up a little bit of uh, smoky flavor. Uh, underneath, we have aguaca chile, which is a cream based on onions and blood peppers. Uh, although it has peppers, it is not spicy. Uh, around, we have an arugula oil, the same as the ceviche. And on top, we have a black recado vinaigrette. Uh, these being some chili ashes with nuts and vinegar. Finally, as a creation, we use some more coriander flowers and powdered algae. Sounds good, thank you. Fifth course of the menu, our roasted oysters. <laughs> These are oysters we put on the grill with hot chili butter based in Carissa, some pork rinds, lemon peels, and fresh pasote. I will leave some lemon on the side if you, will, if you would like to add it. And I do recommend you be careful because outside they might not be, but inside they're quite hot. Mm. Enjoy. Gracias. Uh, the sauce is chitapin and lemon. Ooh, this one is a little bit spicy, but it's more of a citric spiciness for than anything. And of course, to make a taco, we have our flour tortillas. Ah, thank you. So, for the tasting menu, uh, we offer uh, chocolate ice cream, and it's all made in house. And we also have it somebody's birthday. Perfect. Uh, we do have a little uh, detail for you. Uh, oh, how pretty! It's uh, honey uh, semifredo. Underneath we offer a compote or guayaba, mm -hmm. and then on top we have a cucumber and herbs uh, sorbet. Okay, thank you. You're so lucky. Happy You're lucky. Thank you. here because I just remembered to give you guys some tips um, when you're going to buy the go to Lupe just keep in mind that there is a bunch of potholes on the road so keep that in mind uh, make sure when you come here and drive your car 
uh, make sure you guys you know it's better to bring if you have a four-wheel drive car or you know if your car is lower to the ground it's not gonna do well here in Valle Guadalupe so make sure that you keep that in mind that there's a bunch of potholes in here and always always drive carefully because it's like playing a video game driving here right babe yeah <laughs> yeah it's like you're trying to avoid potholes like everywhere animals. So, animals and stuff so yeah <laughs> So Jason and I are just waiting here inside the car because it started raining on us. Um, it looks like it's a, a heat rain. Let me just show you guys. It's raining. <laughs> <laughs> Rain got us. It's okay.
cool.
Okay. Let's start the tender for English. Uh, this is a barbacoa. Uh, our barbacoa is made in with a French technique cook called and mess. It's cooked any protein uh, inside with a pork left. Right? Okay. This is a pork left. Oh, interesting. Inside, we have a mixture a banana leaves, and inside the banana leaves, we have the barbacoa. Beef juice. And you're playing now a tortilla, right? Yeah. Tortilla with a different sauce and uh, base. Uh, onion, avocado, fresh and pepper, and for finish that, have the barba. So these are traditional barbacoa tacos. dinner here at in Animal Lawn and I'm telling Jason right now he needs to wheel me out because I am so full I'm so glad I wore something spandex because if not I'd probably be like unbuttoning my pants or my bun's probably gonna be popping out but everything was so good it was so delicious worth it I highly recommend that you guys check out Animal Lawn There. Only in Mexico do they package your beer like this. <laughs> what did you buy? Some craft beer. Awesome. Ah, oh, that's pretty.
Churrasti snack man. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> like withholding there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's Sí. Claro. Estamos. Estamos muy hungry. 